Hi! In this video, you'll find out how to recreate the very common heart icon animation. First, the user taps on the heart icon, which becomes slightly bigger before the fill color changes to indicate that the content has been liked. Tapping on the icon again will remove its fill color and indicate that the content has been unliked. Let's see how this can be recreated in Proto.io using the States feature. Open the Comfy Sample project and go to the Product Details screen. Let's use Command F to search for a favorite icon. From the search results, we'll choose a version of the heart icon with just an outline and no fill color. Let's change its dimensions and position it where we want it. We'll then convert it to a container. This will let us create the different states that the heart will take throughout the animation. Let's resize and recolor the heart icon as it will appear when it's in the off state. We'll rename the state to heart off. Now let's create the in between enlarged heart state, which is now how the icon will appear when tapped. The heart needs to have a fill color, so we'll delete the outline icon from this state and replace it with the filled icon. Let's set its size and fill color. We'll name this state Heart Big. Finally, let's create the Heart On state. In this state, the heart is filled, but smaller than the way it appears in the Heart Big state. So to recap, we have the heart off state, where the heart is shown as an outline, the heart big state, where the icon appears bigger and filled, and the heart on state, where the icon remains filled but returns to the same size as the off state. What we need to do now is add the tap events that will make the heart change from one state to another. Let's start with the heart off state. We select the heart icon and drag a connector to the heart big state. Proto.io will offer to create a nice transition animation between the heart off and the heart big state, which is exactly what we want, so we'll choose Create. If we drag the playhead along the timeline at the bottom of the screen, we can see the heart icon on our canvas transition from empty to filled. Let's change the easing from the default option to Linear to make the animation smoother. Let's preview it now by dragging the playhead along the timeline or by clicking Play. What we've done so far, once the user taps on the heart off state, the heart will switch to the heart big state using the animation we just set up. Once this animation completes, we want the heart to jump to the heart on state. To do that, let's go to the end of our timeline and click on the interaction button. From the menu that appears, we choose state transition end for trigger, and from the action dropdown, we choose change container state. In the container dropdown, we choose current container, and for state, we choose Heart On. Proto.io will offer to create a transition between the Heart Big and the Heart On states. We'll choose Create and let Proto.io set up the default timeline. Great! Finally, let's switch to the Heart On state and set it up so that when the user taps on the Heart On icon, the Heart will switch to the Heart Off state. Like before, we choose to create a default transition which we can preview using the timeline. So let's save our project and preview what we have done in the player. The heart icon works as expected. When tapped for the first time, it changes from the off state to on, going through the big state. When tapped again, it changes from on back to off. Thank you for watching. Feel free to take a look at the rest of Proto.io's learning series covering everything you need to know about Proto.io.